B9, also known as folic acid or folate. And B9 or folate is, um, is used for DNA synthesis, helps form red blood cells, prevents neural tube defects, and has a precursor of PABA, PABA. Um, we will talk about what that is when we get to biochemistry. However, um, some important things to know about folate. Um, as you guys know, in pregnancy, this is one of the supplements that we should be taking even before um, women get pregnant. Um, because it's needed before women could even like really know that they're pregnant. So if women are trying to get pregnant or they're, I think they recommend it for anybody who's in the childbearing ages to take it just in case they get pregnant. So they don't have neural tube defects. Anyway, um, probably important to know too though that the normal recommendation is 400. I guess it's unigrams a day. I'm not sure the little U symbol, UG. And then um, for women, it should be 600, and that can be coming from supplement and diet is what they recommend, getting at least a total of 600 a day. Um, so what happens when you are deficient? Well, so we talked about it forms red blood cells. So if you're deficient in this, you're going to have megoblastic anemia or macrocytic anemia, diarrhea, and fatigue. So if you're looking at somebody's labs and you see they have elevated MCV, the macrocytic, um, then you might want to see what they're eating and if they're eating foods such as cereal, liver, leafy greens, lentils, um, to see if they have been eating um, foods that have folate in them. Um, some other foods, kidney, citrus foods, citrus fruits, vegetables in general, lentils, beans, broccoli. I think folate as like uh, foliage or vegetables, plants, right? Um, dark leafy greens. So that's all I have for you on folate, also known as a vitamin B9.